Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're still working on the boat, but not actually the boat today. We're going to rewire it and get some lights on it. That way when I put the hub on, I may go get the hub tomorrow. And we may dunk this in the water and we'll see how it runs in the water. But right now, let's get some lights on it. And I got a little story to tell you. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I knew, excuse me, I knew this boat came with two new lights, okay? So I was like, cool. Didn't think look in the box. Two brand new lights there. So, and they're boat lights. So, I went ahead and done some filming for you. Now some of this you'll see here in a minute where I'm checking the lights on the truck. I'll keep that in there, but the rest of it, I'm gonna edit out because I was talking, I was fixing some wire, some wiring issues that I had found. So I found some wire issues and we repaired them together, you and I. <laughs> but, oh, there's Monkey. I didn't even see her. So, anyway, I got to looking in a box and guess what? I, I was also talking about how this winter I'm just going to go ahead and rewire the whole thing so it's ready for next summer. And when I went to get the lights out, put the lights on the fender, it actually comes with everything. It's got the whole wiring harness and Gosh. license plate bracket. Of course, instructions. I don't need those, but you may. Um, so yeah, it's all in there. Uh, yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and rewire it. First, let's get the fenders, the fenders straightened out so they're not flopping around and then we'll start it we'll start at the front and go back and I'll explain to you why here in just a minute okay guys the first issue I see is these lights you know they're grounded to the to the fender which the fenders grounded to the trailer and then the trailer has a ground it gets its ground from the truck but there's one good reason why they would be intermittent See that? There's another good reason why this side's not working right there. Now let's check the other side. I've not checked this side, but well, I know the fender's loose though. See that fender's loose too, so it can't ground. And uh, so. But somebody tried to seal these lights up, and that, that ain't the way you do it. Don't do that, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. So, first thing we're going to check is our running lights, which is the brown wire. You know, headlights, whatever you want to call them. We're just going to stick this in the brown. Make sure this doesn't touch. So, we should go on this side of it, like that. Now, I'm going to go turn the lights on. And we're gonna check that. Make sure it's tight. Okay, we got lights on the truck. Now this should light up and go bing. And it's not. So we have an issue somewhere. There it is. Okay. Might need to clean the insides of them out a little bit. There it is. All right, so now we're gonna try. We're gonna do the left turn signal. Which is gonna be the yellow one. And it's working. Okay, so. All right, now let's do the right turn signal. I replaced the uh, converter box in this before, so. All right, now let's do the brakes, which is gonna be kind of hard to do by myself. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this on here, 
best we can like that then I'm going to try to stick this down we'll do the yellow one first kind of down beside there I'm going to put my foot on the brake and we'll see if that makes any noise and it didn't so it could be not making a good enough contact but usually if your turn signals are working your brake lights are going to work too but let's make sure okay so the brake lights are working all right well let's check check the right one too make sure it's going to work all right okay guys see they had these things on there and if you look they had it all sealed up and just junky way to to do stuff now not only will it might it might keep the water out which they didn't seal that up water can get inside there um, if it does get in it can't get out and if you look down inside there see all that goop it's all rusted up corroded don't do that guys okay so what I did was I got them off of there I got the fenders tightened up pretty good um, what happens with these is people step on them those are not steps guys don't stand on them uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unwrap all these wires here uh, later on I will put new side marker lights on but not right now like I'll put one on each side there one on each side here and then on the back it's a short trailer but they got the bunks extended out uh, but it's okay this this boat is not that long so as you can see we're already almost done <laughs> with unwiring this if I get off of it see just they just got it all wrapped around there you know just black taped and just ain't the right way to cut off what you don't need because you got to splice it in the back anyway right so start at the front give yourself what you need then go to the back and cut off what you don't need you might want to leave six or eight inches up in there somewhere wire tied up real nice and neat pretty you know in case you gotta replace lights which eventually you will you know so just leave you a little extra but don't don't start wrapping that stuff that ain't the right way to do it um but what we usually do well what we did at work and what i usually do is look for holes in the frame sometimes they got holes in the frame if they don't have you can zip tie it but what i usually do see there's one there one of those things um, I only see one now. Um, there's another one there. Right there. And I don't think there's any more back there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these out, these pop rivets out. There's a couple on the other side too. So I'm going to drill them pop rivets out. Maybe put another one down through there. And I'm going to use a zip tie. Through them holes and i'll show you how i do that but right now i'm gonna go ahead and get all the wires off i got the tail lights off on the other side was so bad i actually had to cut it off with the cut off wheel so it's off um see this shit don't don't do that i mean you gotta splice it anyway why not just leave you enough and you know this just you know it just goes to show 
and then it gets up inside there like that and things move and then you end up with shit like that that'll eventually wear through well it already did he said he was blowing fuses well that's why that was grounding out all right let me get those off of there and I'm gonna get those uh, those rivets drilled out and I'll show you how I put do my wiring okay okay I got this on here he got a good set because it also came with the pigtail for the truck which we're not going to need because our pigtail is fine but of course I will save that in case something happens to our pigtail but I'm just gonna yes I'm gonna have plenty I'm just gonna bolt this right back there in that little hole right there and we will have oh yeah we'll have plenty of yeah okay and then I'm gonna run it right up through here a lot of guys will run them out through here which is okay but I find that a lot of guys that do that they end up pinching their wires in there so I always run mine beside um, it's well shoot I really can't come out I'm gonna have to do that but see there's a hole right here so what I'm gonna do is I'll zip tie that there so that way I cannot get it up in there if it does I can fix it. it's no big deal but um, well I just I don't know what size that is damn mosquitoes out it's getting ready to storm um, okay I may I may have to change that ball that doesn't feel like it's on there all the way but anyway guys I'll pick one up tomorrow um, so yeah I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to put this bolt in. Nothing special, nothing exciting. I'm just going to go ahead and bolt this on there. And I'll bring this out. So, um, and I'll show you what else we're going to do. Okay, guys, I'll show you how I'm going to do this. I got this little zip tie here. Just a regular zip tie. It's small enough to go through this hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through here, around them wires, and then back through here. Okay, so this is what I did here. See, I pushed it through and I looped it around the wires and then brought it back through here. Now we're just going to go ahead and hook it on like it's supposed to be hooked. Just pull it through so you get a nice, so it's nice and snug. There you go. That's all you need to do. And uh, I'm going to do that all the way down through this side and all the way down the other side. Um, so now you get an idea of what I'm doing. I don't know what this wire is for. I think it's an old ground wire or something. But how you get an idea of what's going on. I think I've got some. And then, of course, you cut this, this off here, you know, so it looks a little better. Um, I think I've got some wire loom that I can... Uh, put over this so and as you can see I'm gonna have plenty so all right guys I'll be right back with you I'm just gonna run these wires down through down along the frame and do this all the way back through there okay guys I think I might just have time to show you this I gotta hurry these they're carriage bolts or stove bolts they slide in there like that like this now unlike the other lights that we took off that was grounded when you bolt, bolt them onto something, what the hell? These are not, they've got their own ground wire, which is the white wire. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that around, once I put it on, put that there, and it'll ground to the fender, and it will ground, let me see, do I want this to the frame and then to the truck? I don't know if I want it like that. Well, I better see if these holes will line up first. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they'll line up. Okay, yeah, I just, I want it like that. I don't want it hanging down too low. So, because this trailer's low anyway. Because these little small tires on here. And this is your left light because 
it's got your spot here for your um, oh doodad thingy and I'm just gonna stick this on here well first what I'm gonna do let's see. now you know what there's a spot to run these wires right down through here just like this there's a little sorry guys I gotta hurry it's getting ready to, to storm like mad so these will run down through here like this then we're gonna put say, I want it like this yeah I want it like this nope can't have it like that unless I have it down lower I guess we'll just we'll put it like this because like I said I want the tag up I don't want the tag dragging now this, I'm just gonna bring around to the back. It's gonna go over here. All right, so I'm gonna bring the white one, which is ground, and bring it around back, and I'm just putting it on one of the studs. I know you can't see it, but putting a lock washer on, and my nut. Just like that now I'm grounded real good and then I'm gonna run my other two uh, I'll run my wire out through this hole and hook onto these these two now I'm just going to scotch lock them instead of doing the uh, the uh, what do you call it the butt connectors I'm gonna scotch lock these okay but you can butt connect them but I'm not going to Okay guys, so that's what I did with that. That's the ground wire from the light. Because the fender's grounded the frame. Frame's got its own ground wire that is grounded off the truck. Plus when it's on the ball, it'll be grounded. So, but that's what I did. I just brought it around and put it onto that bolt. Now if you're hooking onto plastic, you'll have to go somewhere to metal and ground it. Or run a ground all the way back. So anyway, that's how I did that. Let me get these two wires hooked up, and uh, I gotta hurry. I'm sorry, guys. And then I'm gonna do the other side. So. Okay, guys. Like I said, I'm just gonna scotch lock these. That's these little blue things. I like the gray ones better. Come on, focus. But all I'm gonna do yellow to yellow, brown to brown. So I'm just gonna stick these in here. I'll show you here in just a second. that one in that way this one in this way now that metal tab right there you're just gonna squeeze that together and that just cuts right into the wires and there it is good to go let me make sure it's make sure it's straight just squeeze it down in there now bring your veil bring your veil over clip that in there like that now as you've seen like I said I left a little wire I left a little wire you see what I did there that's my extension cord My extension cords going through there but I left a little extra wire in case I got to change the light but usually you, you always have plenty so I'm gonna do this one then I'm gonna do the other side the same way and then we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna try it out now I know what a lot of you guys are thinking well these things are not waterproof no they are not waterproof but what I always do when I uh, 
when I'm backing into the water, the trailer into the water, I unplug my trailer anyway. Because you don't need lights underwater, and nine times out of ten, they're going to be underwater. So that's why I never worry about these too too awful much. Because, like I said, I always unplug my unplug my trailer anyway. So let me get the other side run down through there. I'm just going to do it the same way as this, and then um, then we'll uh, plug them in and turn them on and see if we got everything. So well, guys, I almost made it. I got the lights on. I still have to get them wired up or, you know, put up where they belong. I don't like the way they stick out like that. So I'm going to drill more, drill holes and bring them in here a little bit more. But I don't know how well they're going to be able to see, be seen if I do that. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting my guides up here and putting them on top of the guides. But for now, let's go ahead. I'll have to finish it up tomorrow. Let's go ahead and turn some lights on. Well, I'll just take you off the stand and bring you with me. So I gotta reach in, open that door in the truck anyway. I'm probably gonna get in trouble. So I went in the house once. Oh, I didn't even have it all the way closed. That's okay. The monkey's like, get stepped down. Get in the shower. You're going to catch pneumonia. But I'm doing this for her, you know. I want to get this stuff done. Let's turn the key on. Now first, we're going to turn our parking lights on. Well, I guess I better plug this in first, huh? Or we ain't going to have nothing. So... There we go. All right. These are LEDs too, so. And see, they're kind of like up in the air. But anyway, at least they're on there. So yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll just, I think I got the stuff. I'll just make my guides and put up here. But let's go ahead. And I know on this on this one, if we got turn signals, we're gonna have brakes. But yeah, there she is. And it just stopped for some reason. And I'm guessing I'm not plugged in all the way here. There we go. We got left. Now let's do right. I can see it already. There it is. So, and I do know we have brakes. So, my camera's going to get wet. Yeah, see, they, they can't be seen. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to have to put them up in the air. But at least for now, we got those. And here's the dilemma I have on my... It's not really a dilemma. See? <laughs> this is running down through there between the lights. <laughs> ain't going to go through. I'll have to unplug it up at the house and bring it through. Okay. So we got everything. Okay, guys. Sorry I had to hurry you along. But... Um... Trying to beat the rain. Almost made it. But either way, I still got to get them lights up in the air because you can't see them. Um, down here, I believe, if you can see the vehicle, the vehicle's lights pulling the trailer, you don't have to have trailer lights. But I don't want to chance it. We've been hitting the ass too many times in this truck as it is. I don't want them taking the boat out too. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, I better get in the house. I'm going to get in trouble. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care now.